Good afternoon and welcome to your hour. This is Monday and I, all day. I'm sorry, I can't do anything about that. But let's take a look at Today in History. Here is Today in History. In 1938, the first issue of Action Comics was published with the world's first superhero, Superman. In 1869, Thomas Edison received a patent for his electric voting machine. In 1961, FN Multiplex Stereo Broadcasting premiered. And in 1967, the Beatles, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band was released. Some of the notables born on this day include Andy Griffith, actor in The Andy Griffith Show and Matlock, turns 85. The late Marilyn Monroe, actress and gentleman prefer blondes and famous centerfold and playboy, would have turned 85. Marilyn died August 5, 1962. Pat Boone, singer of Love Letters in the Sand, turns 75. Morgan Freeman, actor in Driving Miss Daisy, Glory, and Unforgiven, turns 74. Cleveland Little, Tony Award-winning actor in Blazing Saddles, turns 72. Lisa Hartman, actress in Knott's Landing, Bear Essentials, turns 55. And Indy Allen, Playboy Playmate for the year of December 1987, turns 46. The thought for the day. Conversation enriches the understanding, but solitude is a school of genius. And that, that was, was Today in History. history. Well, stay with us because coming up first is Cheryl Ann Clark, and she's going to be talking about the third annual Proud Godly Women's Conference. And uh, James Copeland and Morgan Faulkner will join us uh, to give you the 2014 Riverfest report, uh, letting you know all the events that are going on there. Um, and then, of course, KCTU reports with R.J. Dickens. So stay with us. We've got a lot to get to. You know, you don't want to miss it. We'll be right back.